Hello students, in previous class we have already discussed about the chapter matter around us up to diffusion nature of liquids. Before going to the topic in this chapter, you have an information that after completion of this chapter, you will be having an exam. All of you have to attend it. Now, let us do a lab activity. Aim of this activity. Aim of this activity to observe the speed of the diffusion of two gases. Materials required. Glass tube. Rubber clocks, ammonium solution, hydrochloric acid, two pieces of cotton. Take two pieces of cotton, soak one piece in ammonium solution and another piece in hydrochloric acid solution. Procedure, take an arrow glass tube. Take two pieces of cotton separately at the two ends of the glass tube. Insert two pieces two pieces of cotton separately at the two ends of the glass tube. With the help of the rubber cross, close these two ends of the glass tube. Observe the changes. After some time, we can observe A formation of white ring. White ring least distance from it for a piece of cotton with the HCl solution. Because hydrochloric acid gives hydrogen gas and ammonium solution gives ammonia gas. We can we can we observe both gases react together to form a white substance called ammonium chloride. form a white substance called ammonium chloride. Which gas travelled faster? So, we can conclude that 
HCl is more denser than ammonia. Why? Because ammonia is a weak base reacts with the hydrochloric acid to form a compound ammonia chloride. matter change its state is yes. all we know by our observe all we know from our observation water can exist in three states solids Water can exist in three states. We must have been observed many other substances that can exist in different states. Example, coconut, coconut oil. It is usually liquid in state, but when, but if the weather is very cool, it becomes solid. Another example, camphor is a solid, but if we leave it in a a for some time it, it diffuses in gas changes to gas can matter change its state let us perform an activity on effect of temperature let perform an activity effect of on we know effect of temperature on change of state effect of temperature on change of state solid to liquid solid to liquid. Let us perform an activity on effect of temperature on change of state solid to liquid. Take a beaker with a small ice cubes. Take a beaker with a small ice cubes. Insert a thermometer. Observe the thermometer reading. Now put the beaker with the small ice cubes on a burner with the help of a tripod stand and start and start heating the beaker. Now observe the change. Ice starts melting. Ice cubes start start melting. Observe the temperature. Observe the temperature on the thermometer until the ice melts. After some time, what we will observe? We observe the temperature of a mixture of solid and ice, mixture of solid and liquid does not change. When, when it will change, it reaches, when it reaches specific temperature. When it reaches specific temperature. Any temperature, a certain temperature, it occurs solid to a solid, solid substance to a liquid, solid substance to a liquid is called melting point, is called melting point. Let's perform an activity, the temperature of temper, the effect of temperature on change of state, liquid to gas. Previous activity solid to liquid. Here liquid to gas. Take a beaker. Pour some water in it. Put it on a burner with the help of the 
try and stand. Measure the temperature of water with the help of the thermometer. So observe, observe the changes. Observe that the water, the water temperature increases continuously. Temperature of water increase, increases continuously. Water boils to steam when it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. When it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. The water boils to steam when it reaches 100 degrees Celsius with atmospheric pressure is called boiling point. Is called boiling point. We all know about evaporation. So I no need to say more briefly but I have to say about evaporation you have heard pre previously have heard. So what is mean by the evaporation? See in previous classes in from childhood classes you have heard about, heard about the word evaporation. What is evaporation? Let us perform an activity on, on this evaporation. Take a spirit. Take some spirit on your plum. So what you will observe? What you will observe? You feel it is cool. The surface area of your palm, it is cool. So take a, take some amount of spirit in two dishes. Two, two petri dishes. It is used in laboratories. Two petri dishes. You pour same amount of spirit in two petri dishes. What you will observe? And keep under the fan. Keep under the ceiling fan. And switch on the fan. What you will observe? And close one and one petri dish with the lid. One with open air. So after some time if you observe. The spirit in the petri dish which is not closed. You can you cannot see the spirit. In If you see in the closed lid. If you see in the closed petri dish. Some form, you, we can form some amount of spirit in it. So, by this observation, what is evaporation? Definition of evaporation. Below, just now I explained about the, uh, explained about evaporation with, with small activity. What is evaporation? The phenomenon of change of liquid into a vapor at any temperature below its boiling point is called evaporation. What is humidity? It is an, another factor that affects evaporation. The amount of water present in air is called humidity. The amount of water that present in air is called humidity. Ice, water, Vapor. Melting. Evaporation. Melting evaporation. Thank you.